only the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples whose sovereignty was never ceded that we recognise as the traditional, cultural and historical owners of this land we now inhabit. <laughs> directly benefited from the theft and occupation of this land. All the more reason why we feel we must speak out about the murderous and thieving policies of the Australian governments that are clearly unjust and that continue before our very eyes. Having learned the truth, we feel that we must state clearly that we do not support the colonial occupation of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander lands. A lot of work has gone into this to bring this passport ceremony to fruition. And you only have to look around to see how successful it has been. For sure, I'm, I got an Australian passport, but I'm not considered for sure an Australian, because Australia doesn't exist. It's Aboriginal land. Yeah. Help the Aboriginal people to reclaim the sovereignty. That is the only way that this passport becomes a reality. Thank you very much. The father of WikiLeaks founder, Julian Assange, received an Aboriginal passport on his son's behalf. Assange's passport was one of 200 Aboriginal passports presented at the Redfern ceremony. Uh, yes, this is the passport. Assange's father, John Shipton, said Julian has always been a supporter of Aboriginal sovereignty and the need for a treaty. This is the uh, declaration that you must sign in order to get the passport, which goes to say that the Aboriginal people are sovereign. Shipton called on the Australian government to respond to his son's difficult situation rather than to the US ambassador. Shipton was asked about the address on his son's new passport. <laughs> For Julian. Care of the Ecuadorian Embassy. Uh... Indigenous communities in the Northern Territory have been forced off their lands, their homes physically invaded, and their welfare payments quarantined. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples are the most incarcerated people per capita in the world, in some states at a rate more than eight times greater than that in South Africa during apartheid. We do not recognise the Australian Federal Parliament's legitimacy as a sovereign power of this land. It is only the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples whose sovereignty was never ceded that we recognise as the traditional, cultural and historical owners of this land we now inhabit. Yeah, yeah, yeah.